within the proof of play application is where we actually set up which um, proof of play reports you get created, uh, which is obviously what proof of play is all about. So within the proof of play application, we've got reporting drop down and we can go to configuration. This is where we decide which reports that we're going to get produced. So there's 12 different reports and um, there's across that 12 they're split into four different groupings and three different time durations. So we've got daily, weekly and monthly. Weekly is um, Monday to Sunday and monthly is from the first day of the month to the last day of the month. Um, all of the reports are produced 24 hours in arrears. So that means for um, today being a Monday, the report that was produced um, this morning would be for Saturday. The reason that we've done that is just to make sure that all of the players have hopefully uploaded their um, proof of play logging for that day and we have processed it all. There's obviously a chance that they could upload at midnight or just after midnight, dependent on the um, configuration and that would mean that if we try to produce the report at um, midnight or two o'clock in the morning, for example, we might not still have got all of the data. So we want to just leave it 24 hours, which means that hopefully we've got all of the data we need to produce that report. Um, so we've got verbose, which is outputting all of the data um, which we log. Grouped by media asset that means we get a summary report which lists each of the media assets for that period the total number of impressions and the total duration that they were played. Got group by media asset then player, which again is a summary line per media asset, so total impressions, total duration, and then split down into the summary lines per player. So how many times has this played on this player and for how long? And then we've got group by player then media asset, so it's just the other way around. So we have a total line per player, um, a total number of impressions, total duration, that things that were logging impressions um, played for, and then broken down into the actual media assets that we're logging on that player. So once we've set those up, um, just by clicking on one of the toggle switches, we can decide we want that um, report. We can go to the view reports, and this is where we can actually download the reports. So we've got a um, description and the type of grouping. Um, the reason we've got main and additional data is if, um, as I say, the, the reports are produced 24 hours in arrears, but there's always a chance that your players do not have um, an internet connection. So they haven't been able to upload um, their proof of play impressions by the time that the report is produced. In that scenario, when that player then does get an internet connection, it will upload all of the logs that it has um, created since it last uploaded. And in the background, we then look at those logs and say, well, have any of the impressions that have been logged um, been for a period where we've already produced a report. If that is the case, then we mark it off and say, right, we need to reproduce that report. We're not gonna reproduce the whole report because we only store um, impression logging for a certain period of time. Um, there's a chance as well that we won't have all of the original data for the report. So what we do is create an additional data report that will produce um, and include all of the data that was that's been added um, since the report was created originally. You can then take both of those reports and join them together to get the full report. As I say, um, data is only stored for a certain number of days. So the, if you want to keep that data, there are ways that we can talk about um, on a project by project basis of being able to archive that data off um, either to you through your APIs or to a uh, service handled by ourselves. Um, if you are using verbose reporting, then you are effectively archiving that data anyway, because the actual reports that are produced are never deleted.